Hi everybody, it's uh, Jeff Van Winnen here for VW Bricks. Uh, going to do a live build of the set 40448, uh, the vintage car. Uh, I'm just going to share that screen because I forgot to add that. Uh, here we go. This uh, this set right here. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to buy it um, or to buy any Lego on January 1st, and that set sold out extremely quickly, um, so I was unable to get it. I got the wrong part apart there, but I'll look at it in a minute. Um, so I decided to, I decided to, hold on, I'm trying to move something here. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna let me. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to use StreamYard. Oh, there we go. That works. Not too bad. You don't need to see my face. Anyway, um, so I was trying to, uh, I wanted to buy some Lego on January 1st um, in order to get this set as a gift with purchase, but I was unable to because of the fact that there were none available. Well, it was sold out and I just didn't get a chance to purchase something on January 1st. I remember waking up January 1st in the morning and looking online and I was going to buy the PlayStation, and I had a little bit of buyer's remorse, so I didn't buy it. And by the PlayStation, I mean the modular um, police station. Um, so I was going to buy it, and I chose not to. And as a result, I ended up passing on it for that moment and missed out on getting this little gift of purchase. Uh, I really like the look of this car. I understand that the... Um, pulling off the or the, the uh, surfboards fall off really easily so hopefully uh, I can figure out a solution I don't think anybody has yet because I probably won't be able to either um, but as you can see some parts here on the table uh, I'm actually going to be building it in blue and red um, because those teal parts that they were said originally came in were a little hard to get or actually honestly I just not a big fan of the color teal um, so I'm sticking with what I like. Um, I'm just going to pull up the YouTube stream. There's one person watching right now, and that is... Um, so, oh, hold on. I'm sticking with what I like. I forgot to mute the live too, the YouTube stream. Um, so I am currently streaming live, which I think I already said. Um, and I am currently the only one watching this. I'm watching it so that I can see the chat. And reply to the chat because I don't know. I'm still learning how to use Stream Steam Streamyard. So this is my first attempt. Um, oh, it looks like I can't actually post a comment in here, so maybe I don't need that. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we are on to the build. Uh, quickly, just for sorting the pieces, I pulled all these pieces out of my own collection and then purchased a few parts that I needed, um, with exception of one set of pieces. The um, the the these wheels in red. Or let's just see if I can get this up on the screen. These pieces in red, which is a newer design uh, with a curve on the bottom, and so the older ones don't have this. These in red only came in one set, and I was fortunate enough to buy the set. A little red Ferrari. It was a racers set. I actually bought the set for the couple of pieces of racing, uh, a roller coaster track that went over, trying to uh, figure out how to do this, let's just switch to me for a minute. Um, I'll just switch over here. Uh, a couple of pieces that went over um, the racetrack, or uh, yeah, over the racetrack kind of as an entrance or exit. And uh, I just never got a chance, or I bought the pieces for another project, and I built the cars and stuff. No stickers or anything, just just the way they are. Uh, but I'm going to end up stealing the pieces off here, because that is the only set that it actually was available in. So I'm going to work on my camera setup a bit, too, because right now it's not the best. But anyway, um, so my computer's over here, as you can tell. My build's over here. Hi. Um, a little bit of a delay between the cameras, but anyway, um, anyway, we'll go back to, uh, we'll go back to the way it was. Nope. Why can't I see this? Oh, because I have to go to this layer. Like I said, still learning this. 
All right, so hopefully you can see, I'm trying to figure out if the focus is there. Doesn't seem to be that well focused, so maybe I can come in a bit. Let me add some more light just in case. Again, new to this, learning the ropes. That doesn't help. And it doesn't help that this camera doesn't focus, I don't think. So maybe I should switch my cameras. All right, well, okay. There is a live shot, not that anybody's listening right now, so that doesn't help. But okay, you know what? I'm just gonna clear this stuff out of the way and we're gonna start the build process. All right, that's not what I want to do. Oh, here's the creator. So this was a Lego idea set. Uh, I believe this is the guy who generated the Lego idea set. Lego ideas is a, is a um, program through Lego where fans like me can submit our own designs and those designs can get approved by Lego first to be entered into the designs program. Uh, once they're entered in, they are um, put up on a voting system. And if the set gets 10,000 votes, then it has the chance to become a Lego ideas. Now, this might have been a competition. Um, I know recently they've had a competition for making a space set. Uh, as a gift or purchase. So the rules are a set with, I think, 100 to 200 pieces um, that someone could get as a gift or purchase. And currently there's a vote for those online uh, for the ones that have um, been entered into the draw. Um, so anyway, let's go to the next page. There's some information about this guy. These instructions come with multiple languages. Uh, I don't have any minifigures to put into this set right now. Um, so I were going to skip that page, but we will get started. Now, as I said, I'm building two of these. Um, so I'm going to be dual, dual building. Um, I wish I could move this, this share screen over a little bit. It doesn't look like I can. But anyway, maybe, maybe the other version I'm able to a bit better. Anyway, so building two of these. So I'm not sure how long this will take and stuff, but we'll see. I uh, always need to be on the screen. All right. So I pre-pulled these parts um, in order to figure out what I need. And I think I've got everything. I have a, another Lego order still coming in. I don't believe there's anything on that order was, that was for this set. So as far as I know, I am complete with this. Hopefully, if not, uh, we will have to work on that, or I might have to go grab a piece or skip a step or switch over to one of these vehicles. Uh, so two one by two grays. And this could be a, oh, there's more over here. I forgot there was gray on the other side. All right. Okay, now we got our first uh, colored pieces. Uh, okay, so we got the white, two of these guys, a red and a blue. Uh, plate and a red two by two cheese slope and a blue one. And I know I did that backwards. I grabbed blue before red, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, new to playing with YouTube, um, trying out things for the fun of it uh, to pass the time. So like I said, I figured a live build would be something to do. I'm using a tool called StreamYard, as you can see in the corner, which is a uh, free to use tool. I think it gives me about 20 hours of usage a month on the free version. Um, and uh, I've been using this tool for a few other um, web chats, uh, like I'm a guest in those web chats. Uh, and that was uh, web chats hosted by, um, ha, I think I forgot a piece, four by eight black white. Um, yeah, I've been in a few web chats and uh, hosted by Chris Giddens, and uh, I really enjoy it. Seems like a fun tool. I'm just going to wheel over here for a second and grab my plates. Hopefully they're close and make a big noise. And just for the fun of people seeing my geekiness, uh, these are my black plates. Uh, at least the four by eights to the eight by eight size, actually I've got a really long one, and I've got the, these guys in there too. Four by eight to eight by eight. Uh, these are Plano bins. 
I absolutely love them for large parts. That was a very two of those. And technically these have a label on them. Years ago I made labels. Um, it's upside down, unfortunately. Uh, years ago I made labels to stick on and I regretted it as soon as I did it because now if I want to add other parts in, I'm unable to. I have to pull off the labels, which causes a big mess. Okay, I got those pieces. So here we go. Oh, apparently there's no one like watching now. I guess if I'm not actively watching, it goes to zero. Good to know. Uh, red and blue. Hopefully I don't ever get these colors turned or crossed over. So I love the pink in here. I always think that's funny. I think they just do that so that kids can identify what parts are they need. Um, but uh, I know on the Brickhead series, they usually put pink in the heads to represent the people's brains. So I guess the engine could be the brains of the car. That's the pink part. Anyway. I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Okay, some black corner plates, two by two corners. Two, I don't think I grabbed all of them. There's one over here. Page down. I like to think I'm a fast Lego builder. Um, not that it's a competition, but technically I'm on a clock because I'm doing a live drive, and you guys don't want to watch me do this forever. Uh, anyway, uh, pitch down. All right, so I'm on to the first of the wheel wells. Okay, so I'm sorry, nice little Ferrari, but you're going to be disassembled. Um, these parts on BrickLink are, uh, I'm just going to pull it up for a second. These parts on BrickLink are kind of expensive. Where's my BrickLink kit inventory for this set? There it is. Um, in red, these pieces cost, BrickLink stories though, I think because I'm uploading right now, this video. Uh, these pieces in red run at, only in one set as I said, Cheapest these are going for is a dollar forty-one in South Africa. So I usually don't buy things from South Africa just because I'm not sure how long it would take to ship out here. Um, just gonna kill the car. I'll try and keep those pieces apart. Um, anyways, the, the cheapest these are in South Africa for four dollars and change Canadian. Um, the first place that I would actually purchase from, which is Holland in the Netherlands, uh, they're sold for $6 a piece Canadian. So I have a few of these that I'm just adding to my BrickLink order in, or my BrickLink inventory in yellow and black. And they're sold for about a dollar a piece. So that's more reasonable. $6? Not so much. Um, yeah, and they actually have a full set. But the guy, the $6 one, the minimum buy is $74. So I'd have to spend $74 to get those pieces for six bucks a piece. So I just decided to rip them out of the existing vehicle for now. Hopefully they come out in another car in the future and I can rebuild that one. Okay, uh, back to my other screen here. Not that one. Not that one. This one kind of feels like six windows open right now. Hello. There we go. Okay. Uh, next page. Oh, we're turning the cars around and we're putting in four of these guys, two per vehicle. Pretty sure this is the trunk. And two by one by twos, one by ones, I mean. And two red I have the Excuse me. I'm going to tickle my nose today. All right. Next page. That's some more parts. Uh, blue one by threes. No, nope, sorry, that's white. I'm thinking of blue. White one by threes. Yeah, and white one by ones here. Hopefully you can't see that there's a little dent in this brick over here. Shouldn't cause any problems. Like I said, buying or taking Lego out of your inventory, out of your own collection, I mean, sometimes can uh, get pieces that are not perfect. Ooh, the license plate. 
which you know I'm not going to use, so I just have some black tiles. Um, as I don't have the stickers for these, and I don't necessarily sticker my sets anyhow. Uh, I have more tiles that actually do have um, stickers on them, as in the license plates and stuff, so I can always switch that out there if I wish. Okay. Um, did I get the different pins? I did not. Great. Luckily, again, I have a bin really close to my desk called the pin bin. And yes, every time I call it the pin bin, I have to say the pin bin. And this has all the different types of pins for Technic, um, but they're using a lot of different things, so I keep a collection of them right here on my on my desk. Uh, these are um, bins that I have purchased at. Um, at uh, Michael's, which is our craft store. I'm pretty sure they're in the States as well. These are Darcy um, bead bins. They're 17 compartment bead bins. Uh, they exactly fit six studs or five studs across and I think it's seven studs wide. So a lot of Lego can fit in here. Um, and I just find them extra handy. I have probably three, 400 of these bins in my room. And I wasn't trying to flex by saying that. Oh, I might have a watcher. Is someone there? If so, if you want, announce yourself, because then I can say hi to you. Because you might be my first watcher. Or is that just me? Am I the watcher? I don't know. Let's see. Um, I'm just trying to pull up the pop-up window for chat. There we go, I found one. Okay, so. Fun thing with live builds is that you also get to talk to people if they announce themselves. Like I said, I don't know. It shows that I have one person watching. Uh, that might have been my computer. Um, but at the same time, I... Did I get all the parts for that last step? <laughs> I didn't actually put them in. Um, I don't know. Let's we'll see. Oh, two people. Chantel Builds. Hi, Chantel Builds. How are you? Chantel Builds was just uh, the other day posted a video, actually I think it was yesterday, she did a live build of, um, she was working on the Creator Pirate Ship, so I watched a little bit of that. I didn't get all the way through it though, because I was having a busy day, I'll try and catch up the rest of it later. So hi Chantel. Uh, where was I? I lost track. There we go. So Chantel, since you're just joining in, I'm uh, building in, or I'm building this uh, Creator the, the little creator cars that were the gift of purchase in January. I didn't get them. So I wanted to have a copy of my own. And so I uh, decided to buy some. Oh, I'm doing one red. And I'm doing it in red and blue, though, because the teal color is not my favorite. So anyway, this is my first live stream. So I think that yours was your first one was yesterday, too. So. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Blender, going in the word. And I'm dual building at the same time, so you know. Why build why build one we can build two? That goes inward. Pitch down. Oh, and we're inverting. Okay, I see. Inverting on the. This is blue, so it should probably go on the blue car. Wait, did I build that backwards? I think I built that backwards. I did. Do, 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 do. That's funny. Sometimes when you get distracted, you forget what you're doing. Luckily, that was a quick fix. Alright, blue on this car. Red on this car. All right. Yeah. It's actually a pretty long live stream, two hours, so I recommend just skipping through it instead of watching the whole thing. Yeah. Um, wait, I think I can actually share these chats. I'm going to try this because I've never done it before. Um, oh, show. Yeah, see? This is what Chantel just posted. I was actually a pretty long live stream. Um, 
cool. So yeah, all right, on to the build. I'm asking myself, did I just build that one? No, this is the next one. <laughs> Distractions. Um, where's the other bracket? So I should have it here somewhere. There it is. These little guys are fairly new. Um, in that they, in gray, they, were, they weren't something that was common until just this year, I believe. I think actually one of the first sets that came on was this set. Um, so it was one of the parts I had to order. Luckily, it comes on two sets now, so at least there's a bit of a market, or there's a bit of an availability. Bookwink is our friend. Okay. And Chantel, don't feel obligated to watch the whole thing. I wouldn't blame you had other things and came back later. I'm not telling you to go away, I'm just saying. But it's nice to have someone to actually talk to, even though you're texting or messaging and I'm talking. Uh, I wish I'd organize these parts a little better. Am I missing that guy? Okay, two. I think I'm missing a second. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> I like how you did the screen share to show the instructions. Yeah, I've got um, this web camera that's pointing here has a little bit of a graphic issue sometimes at the bottom. Uh, you'll see a little bit of flutter. So I was noticing that on one of the other, on one of Kriskin's uh, builds or live streams was mentioned. So I bought a second camera, uh, which is actually, I can switch over to right now. See, that's me building away. Um, but yeah, I bought a second camera and, uh, there we go. um, decided to actually just get an arm to do this build from, from up high. Hopefully that can uh, help out. And then screen sharing the instructions. Uh, StreamYard doesn't allow us to, uh, it doesn't allow me to move this. I think cause it's the free version. Oh, I need to actually hit page down on the actual window. There we go. Well, I kind of jumped ahead of that step. Okay, next step. Ooh, the lights. So I'll be interested to see, like I know the surfboard only attaches on this vehicle by one stud. So it kind of sucks. Um, so I've heard stories. Did I just do that backwards? No, I didn't. Oh, I need more of those pins from the pin bin. Dun, dun, dun. I missed a few pieces. Luckily, the pin dip, pin bin is here. And you know what? I'm just gonna set that back here because I'm gonna have to go back to it later. Oh yeah, I will because I have to do the other side of the I should grab four. Okay. Blue and red. Page down. Right. I was noticing that there's not a lot of live streams, uh, Lego related, like chats on Saturdays, so thinking eventually maybe getting one started with a few people. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I found a program that allows you to use your phone as a webcam. It works pretty well. Oh, that's a cool idea. Hmm. That's what Chantal just said. I should do that. See? Fun. Stream here is fun. And it was fun. I've been online for 23 minutes already. I should go a little quicker. Oh, was that a times two? Don't you hate it when you're doing instructions and you miss the beautiful times two? That's really a big in both spots. Anyway, okay, pin bin for two. Let's go leave that open. I might uh, look to moving my camera, kind of my other camera, in line with this camera, so that I could technically stream my face as well. Although who really wants to see my face? Um, blue cylinder, red cylinder. Red cylinder, blue cylinder. There's page. All right, wait. What zone are you guys in right now, Chantal? I know you're in Ontario as well. 
two steps but we'll see yeah sometimes it's fun to do two steps at the same time all right this is on the side we're currently in a uh, red zone in Peterborough where I am so not much to do on the Saturday night Remember that I pulled a few pieces out of this box, so I had a bin of parts that I had the other day. So at some point, I may hit a spot where I'm missing a part. We'll see what happens. Time zone, yes, Eastern. Um, I'm I'm in uh, Peterborough, Ontario, so I'm just north of well, northeast of Toronto. Um, so I used to live in uh, Orangeville before that, and before that I lived in the Hamilton area. And before that I lived in Mississauga, and before that I lived on my family on the farm my family was managing. Out in uh, near Georgetown, Ontario. So I've been a lot of places. Did I miss something? No, I did not. Okay. Um, pink floor. Interesting choice. Oh, I guess the cars from the 50s had bright pinks and stuff on them. I'm one of those builders that normally doesn't just grab the pieces based on the list, I kind of just look the instructions and go. Um, Unless it's like a hugely complicated area, like a multi part build. Um, and stuff. Steering wheel. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the steering wheel. <laughs> I will be back in a moment. Two white steering wheels. Steering wheels were one of the parts that I was like, oh, I'll just get later because it's in a bin on the other end of the room. Um, anyway. Okay, doing the seats, it looks like. Oh, you are in the red zone as well. I won't mention what place you're in just because. If you read the chat, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, I used to live in Hamilton for two or three years. Uh, lived over in the Stony Creek side, um, up by um, just on the edge of Stony Creek, so Creekley Road and the Main Street area. Uh, in fact, one of my good buddies, Dave Cowdice, uh, who is a Sparky1701, I think, on YouTube, or just Dave Cowdice, K O U D Y S. I'll give you his address too if you want. No, I won't. Um, but uh, he's uh, he actually lives in that area as well. We used to be almost neighbors. So yes, I went over to his house years ago and brought a couple Lego. Okay, what do we got here? Here's the this is the dashboard. Red. into the trunk and oh this is the part that holds the uh, white 
interesting. I think it's one of those parts I didn't have, so I just decided to grab Ray because I four years in Ray, so I'm cheating. I guess I could quickly check my white bib to see if I have them. Uh, oops. Lego bins on the floor. White. White modified. And I have none of those. So great it is. Okay. Um, oh, there you go. Cool. Uh, Chantel is saying that uh, she lives in the same area as I used to live. Cool. Sometimes it's a small world. Uh, okay. A part of Torlug. No, I'm not a part of Torlug. Um, I know a lot of people in Torlug. Uh, I was part of Ontario Brick Builders and Brick um, Ontario Brick Builders and uh, um, Wackalug, which was the Waterloo, uh, Ancaster, Cambridge. I missed out. Waterloo. <laughs> Sorry, Waterloo, Cambridge, Orangeville, um, Cambridge, Kitchener. So London, and you, we didn't have anybody from, but uh, Guelph. Uh, so came up with the acronym WACLUG. Uh, there is currently a WACLUG, I think, in the world, um, but we were a group called WACLUG. Uh, we don't really do much anymore, um, just because we're also spread out right now, and obviously we're not doing anything through COVID. Um, but, uh, you know, I still uh, communicate with those guys when I can. Um, but uh, I'm trying to, I'd like to get the lug started up here in the Peterborough area. Uh, but yeah, um, more importantly, we have um, the Ontario Brick Builders, which is just uh, anybody from anywhere in Ontario that wants to join. Um, we uh, don't really have any formal meetings or anything. It's just a group of us who, um, who uh, well, it's basically the name that we run most of the shows under. We used to run BrickFet together, uh, Jamie. Brick and my Jamie Gunning and myself, and a few others uh, were uh, some of the organizers for BrickFet, which happened in Toronto. It's on a hiatus for the past few years. Um, hopefully, it will come back again, but you know, time will tell. And find the finances, obviously, too. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm eager to get on the road and do some shows. Um, oh, I gotta grab the last two pieces off of this. Uh, Wreck of a car. Or, oh, that one came off a lot easier. Yeah. I will rebuild you for area panels at some point in your life. But for now, your fenders are mine. Because six dollars. Oops, just dropped this thing for me. Six dollars a fender. That's how large the story is. Well. Okay, anyway. These guys are good. Um, so, uh, like I said, I know a lot of people in the Torlug area, or in the Torlug group, um, but uh, they meet on weird uh, nights, and, uh, oh, I forgot to put those two, those guys on there. Wait, is that because they just put back part of us? I don't know. Anyway, um, they meet on, uh, on weekdays, and, uh, where I live, it's just a little hard to get to those type of meetings, so, um. You know, they're a good group of people. Now I know why they say that I should put these pieces on before you put them on. Put the pieces in the model. That's a little hard to get in there. Chantel, did you manage to get this set on uh, January 1st when it was available for like one whole day? Yes, the wacko lug. Um, yeah, we haven't updated the site for a long time. Um, again, the group's kind of fizzled out. Um, I don't know if you know about the, uh, the Lego Ambassador program. Um, it's a program where uh, registered Lego groups can get some uh, 
some products from Lego uh, for giveaways and such and for their own uh, events and things. Um, and uh, our group was one of the groups that was registered. I used to be a Lego ambassador for that group. And uh, they changed the rules a few times on us and it was getting harder and harder to qualify for the program. Um, so at one some point they ended up deciding that we well, we fell out of the requirements. Actually, a lot of Lego groups across the world suddenly so got into a point where they were no longer meeting the requirements of that process or of, that, uh, of Lego's ambassador program. So we ended up having to drop out of it. And at that point, our group kind of fizzled out of it um, just because, you know, there wasn't many people weren't a lot of us actually uh, participating enough to keep the group going. It was you know, a few of us, a, group, a little core group of us were pretty much doing most of the, putting in most of the effort to, um, to uh, be part of that program. So we just decided to drop there. And yes, I'm tripping over my words a little bit because I'm trying to be very uh, conservative. I'm very, trying not to make any troubles. Yeah, that's a, I think I had everything on that one. I did. Oh, the dreaded doors. Just being sorry, they're not really dreaded. Okay, the old panels are a little dirty, but I guess I didn't have any other ones. And by dirty, I just mean well loved. So I'm, I'm I know at one point Torlug also fell out of the program, so I'm not sure if they're back in. Um, I know the group up in Ottawa, which I uh, would love to say I'm a member of, and I'm on their mailing list a little bit, but I don't actually participate with them, so I'm kind of just a follower of them. Um, uh, group Parliament. Uh, they're a group, great little group. I know a lot of them up there. Um, I think I'm just building these both directions at the same time. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they still do the log bulk, so, or the, they still follow, they're still ambassadors and they're, are in the ambassador program and they have, um, yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard about the log bulk program, it's one of the things that's offered where it's a discounted, uh, program of discounted brick with limited, well, not limited selection, but more, um, like a limited palette, uh, there's only certain parts you can order, and there's a maximum two, two steps in once again. Uh, there's a there's a maximum dollar value of each person you can buy. So I mean, it was a great program. We ran it for many years, and it was a great way to get new parts in new, in lots of quantities. Um, Chantal was saying to my question earlier, I haven't gotten a gift from purchase in years since I typically try to buy all of my sets on sale at clearance. So yeah, that's the best way to do it. The gifts with purchase are just an easy way to suck us in. You know what parts I'm missing? Huh. I'm missing the blue curves. I just realized. Do I order those or the red ones? So I'm not really able to finish one card today. Actually, I'm missing two of the red ones, too, I think. Well, that sucks. Let me just check my orders really quickly here. Clink. This. Do you need to do my orders? Sorry for the delay. And if there's a bit of a humming in the background, that is my furnace. It has just kicked in because I am in a basement. None of those. Nothing from that order. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm just, like I said, going over a few orders. I have an order from Spain that I ordered back in the end of February. And they're not on that one either. Did I just forget to get them? Is a wonderful thing. Um, 
wanted list. In my inventory, do the legal ideas car project. No, I don't have them on my list. Grr. Okay, well, I might have to leave that part and see if I can find it afterwards, which sucks. Just going back a few pages here so I can see the inventory again, see what else I came on. Maybe I can steal it off of something else. Curved one by one double. Slope curve one by one double in red. Comes in 13 cents. And it doesn't look like I have any of those sets. Nope. All right, well, this will be an incomplete model. Anyway, we'll get back on. Oh, you were, oh, so um, what, are you part of uh, Torlink then, Chantel? Because you made a one ball quarter, or is there another group you're with? Is there another group I don't know about? Um, okay. All right, let's just. I'm not sure it sucks that I've got some pieces. I'll do an update video, but what are we doing for time? 41 minutes. I also noticed I grabbed a Chrome Defender instead of a regular one. So Chantel and I met in air quotes. Um, I've never seen her on uh, Fazoom's um, site, um, Fazoom's channel. She's one of the uh, people that drop into the chat. Uh, Lug bulk is amazing. Lots of parts from my zoo collaboration. Just joined in January. Oh, a Torlug. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I, uh, what was I going to say? I, I built a zoo years ago as well. And uh, the reindeer, if you haven't, if you're interested in the reindeer yesterday, at least, they were available on Bricks and Pieces. Um, and I don't know if you have any. Hopefully you do. Uh, if not, uh, they're going for about $7.50, $7.75, something like that a piece. So I ended up placing an order to get a few of them and some other parts um, just because I wanted to. I want some reindeer. I don't have reindeer. And I want to build another zoo at some point as well. Okay, I gotta go grab another piece because I got this one in shiny chrome and it's not shiny chrome. I grabbed the right one in gray. I'm wondering if I grabbed it in chrome because I didn't have it in gray. I'll be right back. Hold on. <clears throat> Yay, I have it in gray. <clears throat> I have it in gray. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, orange lights. Oh, you got four. Awesome. Good job. Uh, those reindeer are. I never actually. Well, I wasn't. I used to collect the winter sets, and I stopped a few years ago just because. I was getting a little bored with them, I guess. Um, and uh, I decided to not collect them anymore. And then they, of course, came out with one with my beer. And I... Wait, I was just locking it. Oh, there's more. I'm not done yet. Um, H down. Yeah, that's how it's locking in. It's locking in with other pieces. Oh, I got these in blue, these little curve bits. I got them in blue yesterday. I got a set come in, a set that came in. My daughter is uh, almost a teenager, and she really likes the um, the dots 
line. So I noticed that, uh, put this, oh, I just realized I'm not really under the camera. This curvy piece here in blue, I noticed it came in one of the dot sets. So I decided to pick one up and I'll let her have it. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll move this camera off a little bit. I don't know if that helps. Uh, how do I? I'll just reposition myself a bit this way. There. That way I'm kind of building under this camera because I didn't realize. Um, yeah, so my daughter is really into the dot sets. So I got a kit. How much I'm just going to grab. I got this Lego dots kit here um, for the blue. I literally bought it for the blue pieces because it was just easier to buy it um, and let my daughter have it than to um, than to order the pieces. Uh, I had no intention of building this set this week. I had no intention of live streaming this set as a build. Um, it just came up, and I thought, hey, why not? Well, I think I need just the two of these. That looks it. So I'll just get a couple of this bag. And now my daughter can play with it all she wants. Let's see if I can get this done. I should be able to get this done in the next 15 minutes. So I have an hour long build. Headlights on here. I'm not a huge fan of the old cars. I mean, I like some of them, um, but I do like the look of this one. It's pretty awesome. I think doing it in the blue and the red are a great idea. Um, did I miss some parts there? Oh, look at that. I missed a step. I put the bumper on and I forgot to put these parts on. So let's get those on. So Chantel, are you building anything right now? While you're watching this, or are you just watching it from the front of it? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I think I also just realized that these are the wrong direction. Okay. Can't have an old car without a nice looking hood ornament, which a skate is awesome for. And for some reason, I'm seeing the earrings. I think I bought a couple extra of those because we have two extras. Uh, oh, you're working on the pirate ship. Awesome. Um, like I said, Chantel was building the Crater Pirate Ship in a live chat yesterday. Um, check it out on uh, YouTube, Chantel Builds. And it looks like I'm close to going to finish this. And yes, I realize I've got two different styles of clips here. I've got the old style and the new style. Um, I think I have to put that bin behind me here. Tile, 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 modified. I do. Got pieces of dirt in here. Um, so I think I'll just keep with the old style because I think I'm going to do those. I'm going to put the new style in mind, but okay, fine. New style it is. Oh, there's a second person watching now. Anybody else join? If so, say hi in the chat and we can talk. Join Chantel and I in the chat here. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine too. You can always just tune in. It's, um, like I said, Chantel is building the higher ship and she wasn't able to finish it last night in her live chat. So yeah, I know. I like getting models finished as quickly as possible. Or you know, once you start, you don't really want to stop. 
Um, I think uh, there's a gentleman called Bricksmith, who is a really lovable character. I'm really enjoying his shows. Um, he's also a YouTube uh, streamer. He might be on the TikToks. He might be on the Twitch. I think he's mainly on YouTube. Uh, anyways, he's part of the Pink Monkey Pocket Nation, which is uh, one of his cool uh, creations. Um, YouTube shows. I don't know enough about it to talk too much about it, but um, he on his chat, which is um, his name is Bricksmith. If I didn't say that, um, also on YouTube, they uh, they're doing a month or a weekly build him and a few others of the. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how this is going to go on. Now. They're doing a weekly build of the. Um, Oh, that actually fits on quite nice. Uh, he's doing a weekly build of the um, of the treehouse, the Lego Ideas treehouse that came out. Oh, that kind of fits nice the first time, and now it won't. I don't know why people are saying it falls off. It actually is pretty secure for you. Um, And maybe it's because I'm actually going into the stud hole. Yeah, it's not falling off. I wonder if people are putting it on wrong. Anyways, um, I, as I was saying earlier, I got to order a few more pieces because I missed some on this. And what are all these extra bits for? This might have just been parts that I ordered extra of. This might be kind of stuff. Anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, the mirrors. Like I said, I think I ordered a few extra parts just because. Uh, uh, I just read my Chantal right here. She'll share the link with my Lego group and see if anyone else is interested in coming. Cool. Um, I have to say, I'm not sure what I was talking about when you said that. See if anybody else is interested in coming, uh, coming to what, or watching one of these live builds or Bricksmith's channel. Anyways, um, my mind has gone in a few ways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So one of the problems when you're building something in quantity of two is you have to double all the instructions and sometimes you miss a piece i'll be right back and one thing i love about my little sorted lego room is the fact that i can find parts really quickly all right, mirrors, mirrors, page down, whoever was watching left, other, someone left. And that's okay, because, you know. Oh, I forgot to put the skis on here. Okay, I'm going to have to make a complaint to all the people who have said, these parts don't fit well because they fit perfectly with no play whatsoever. And the wheels. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong wheels. Okay, well, I uh, those are small pins. Let me just see if I can grab a bag for that. Again, whoever's watching, I'll be right back. <clears throat>
possible interesting fact. I might not actually have these wheels. Checking it in here. Huh. Well, that's an embarrassment. I do have some wheels. They're here on the they're chrome ones, so we'll use these for now. Oh, those aren't the right ones either. These are pins. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just pull up the brick link here. Okay. Wow, it's really slow. Like I said, probably because I'm uploading to YouTube at the same time and not the quickest connection in the world because fiber costs too much. All right, here we go. The wheel should be at the bottom. So you know that feeling when you're like, oh, I think I have enough tires, I don't need any more, and then you realize that the tires that you need, you don't actually have. The bluish gray. I'm just trying to see if there's any sets that I own that have this. Um, and also to check to see if any of these sets are in my Bricklink store, because that means I might have them and not have to go and buy them. But it's not looking good. I definitely have these tires on some of my kids' mocks. Um, but I didn't see any that I have. All right, well, I'm going to have to order these, which sucks. Um, And the tires, no, that's not the tires, it's a Ford. That open. Okay. Anyway, all right. So much for that idea. So I guess I'm mostly done, though. I can pretend that these wheels go in here. <laughs> yeah, totally weird. I should have realized that when I grabbed it. Pink my ride here. Um, and like I said, these guys are pin based, so they're probably not going to go in. It's the right size wheel, but it's not, it's not the right size wheel either. Don't. Anyway, well, I'll have to do an update later on of the finished car, but so far, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like the fact that I can do them in blue and red. Uh, let's hold on for the camera. Uh, less the wheels. And a few other pieces that I thought I had, and I don't. Um, you know what? Let's switch cameras here. Hi. There's the scary side of me, so. Oh, this camera's so much better. Have I ever bought a part? I've already owned in my Brooklyn store, so Chantel is asking this question and the answer is a resounding yes um luckily bricklink has the feature where you can actually search your inventory for parts that are on your wanted list they don't do that enough um unfortunately so but so, so i think i'll have to end this for now um i'm quite happy with how this looks um these surfboards fit on perfectly fine um, I, the complaint was, let me get rid of Chantal's messenger. The complaint was that they pop off too easy. And I'm noticing if, I think if you put it on the wrong stud, like if you put it, you can see there's a bit of a gap there. And of course, if you grab that, it's going to fall off. But if you move it a one quarter or half stud off, it fits perfectly and it is solid. So I'm going to have to yell at the people. No, not yell at them, but anyways. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. In this case, thank you, Chantel, for watching. Um, I will be signing off now. It's just about an hour anyhow, so that works out well. Um, have a great day. Keep building, and uh, maybe I'll do another one in the future. I'll see you later.